It's been a year since the S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus and the Note 5 release. So it is time to root your device and unleash its potential. As you can see the device is not rooted. So let's get started and I'll show you how to root your device without losing any data. Go to rtf97.com then select browse all files Exynos 7420 kernel then select the latest version which is 22.0 select the folder which has your phone's model number and ignore the sound control folder download all three files in the folder to your pc power off your phone and go to the download mode to do that hold the volume down home button and the power button at the same time until you get the screen press the volume up button to continue and connect your phone to the pc out of the three files which you downloaded transfer the two zip files to your phone download a software called odin and open it click on the ap button and select the md5 file go to the options tab and uncheck auto reboot if you don't do this you can't install the custom recovery click on start Wait for a few seconds. Disconnect your phone from the PC. Press and hold the volume down, home and power button until your phone reboots. As soon as you see a blank screen, hold the volume up, home and power button until you see SC Android enforcing on the top left corner of your phone. You will see the TWRP welcome screen. Next, swipe to allow modifications. Click on the install tab and locate the two zip files which you transferred to your phone. First install the recovery file then the kernel. Clear cache or dalvik. Reboot your phone. You can see that there is no super su app in the app drawer so download the super su zip from the description and transfer it to your phone boot back into recovery and install the super su zip clear cache or dalvik and reboot your phone You can see that Super SC is installed. Open it and set it up. Now if you check for root access, it is present and hence your device is rooted. 